Got a couple old vintage arc welders here. These were very popular in the day, these two. This one here is a young, young welder made in Onehunga, Auckland, New Zealand. It's got a wooden chassis. This is all wood. And you've got the two coils in here and the sliding choke to set the amps. It's 180 amps. You can reverse the polarity here. Yeah, you can do, and it's um, 400 volts, three phase, or you can set it to 250 volts, single phase. And this one here is a ferric made by the Wellington Transformer Company in Petoni. It's got different plugs for the different M settings, but um. This one here can't reverse the polarity very easy, but I think it's been broken or something because it would have had another plug there, but it has the normal transformer, but then it has a choke coil with the different um, wires coming off to each one of these. And that, this is 180 amps too. They both weigh a ton. <laughs> and we're going to see which one is the best. I think this one here is actually the easier one to you don't just switch this over because this one here you don't know really know what where you're at you just have to keep on trying it there's no stamping or anything and yeah I, I paid like sixty dollars for this one and use it all the time I do a lot of arc welding but everyone says these are the best and the ones you got to have so I grabbed a couple of these these are extremely heavy Yeah, and we'll see which one performs best. The ferric's extremely loud, like, here's the young. You can barely hear it. And then the ferric. Even makes the camera go shitty when it comes on. Okay, here's the young 180 amps. I'll do a bead, and then I'll try the other one. Here's the hip ferric at 180 amps. Ferric's definitely hotter, it just blew right through that. So yeah, there's the comparison. The young speed is at the top and the ferric's on it's the bottom. It's definitely a bit hotter. The, um, the young has a lot thicker leads on it, but they're a little bit longer, but... Yeah, there's a huge difference in amps there.